Hey, hey, y'all. Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Suffers with Sammy. We are going to start this one out with a big old grocery haul first, and then we'll get right into what I'm making for supper. So back here, we've got three half gallons of whole milk. I've got two Southern Butter Pecan Creamers. I got one zero sugar pumpkin spice and then a pumpkin pie spice um, cold foam. I am loving this stuff, y'all. It is so good. I also have, I think, the caramel macchiato one too. Mm, delicious on coffee. I got some provolone cheese right here from the deli and then some yellow American as well. I'm going to be doing some French dip um, beef in the crock pot. And of course, I just needed this for sandwiches or grilled cheese or cheese toast, anything like that. And then I needed some sour cream. So I got two of the eight ounce sour creams. Then I have two of the original French toast sticks right here. These things are so good in the mornings. Mm, put them in the oven, the air fryer, tasty, tasty. Then I got my hubby some more blueberry pancakes. He loves these things and they are so convenient and so easy in the morning for him to just get one and microwave them and they are good to go. I picked up some Eggo strawberry waffles. I love these. And I also got me the power packed protein waffles to take to work with me. Um, these are the buttermilk and vanilla flavor. They got 12 grams of protein per serving. I needed some cream cheese, so I got a two pack. I picked up some more sweet cream salted butter. This is the only butter that we use. So I got um, a four count of those. And then, I needed some mozzarella cheese for a recipe. Um, be doing some meatballs in the crock pot, and I'm also probably going to be making some pepperoni rolls today. I'm not 100% sure yet. <laughs> I needed some blueberries to keep in the freezer. I love putting those in pancakes or waffles or anything like that. Smoothies, they're so good. I also put some in my dog's food that I make too. I wanted some garlic Texas toast so we could do some sloppy joe um, garlic toast. Um, for supper one night. I picked up some southern style hash browns so I can make some tater soup in the crock pot. Y'all, it's so good. So, so good. <clears throat> I needed some more cheese, so I got two of the sharp cheddar. I love to grate my own cheese, and sometimes I still buy, you know, the bags of it, but I love keeping the blocks of cheese on hand. Got some of the famous chicken fingers from Great Value. They are amazing they are raw so you have to cook them you know they're not as quick as <laughs> the frozen fully cooked ones but they are definitely worth it so so tasty i got two things of the chopped onions to put in the freezer to keep on hand because let's face it it's just convenient to have them already chopped up and everything ready to go for recipes i got one bag of the home home style meatballs these are the only kind of meatballs that i use because they go great with any recipe. So I got one bag of those. I got a big old pound of ground beef right here. I got a roasted chicken, ready rice, and a butter and garlic, ready rice. I like to keep that on hand. My son eats that um, with his protein of choice for his supper since he's doing the um, weightlifting competition. Then, or actually it's a bodybuilding competition, so. I got one thing of Duke's mayonnaise. I love this mayonnaise. It is so tasty. I got one thing of the butter flavored syrup to have on hand. And these I'm going to take to lunch for just a quick lunch. Um, so I just got some Kraft mac and cheese single cups. I needed some more water flavor. So I got the zero sugar Skittles, the tropical flavor. They are my favorite. <laughs> Then I needed some Prego marinara to do with the meatball subs or, um, yeah, sketty, anything. So I love the marinara and the Prego. Then I picked up two of the restaurant style um, Italian dressing. It tastes just like the Olive Garden dressing, but at half the cost, y'all. So save money where you can. Um, it is coming into pumpkin season. <laughs> We're about a month away from fall, give or take a few days. Um, so I got two of the canned pumpkin, plus I do put this in the dog's food as well. So I went ahead and got two of them. And then moving right along, we've got some hoagie buns for the meatball subs, or the French dips actually. I guess we could use it for the meatballs too, but I might do something else with the meatballs. Then I got some 
Don't mind the dirty sink. I just made breakfast and didn't get that out of there. But <laughs> uh, got all-purpose unbleached flour so I can make my pepperoni rolls and, you know, other breads and stuff. Two bags of the sugar, just the white granulated sugar. One loaf of bread for the week. I picked up some of these apple cinnamon danishes. My husband loves these. And I also got him some blueberry muffins. And I got Leo some chocolate chip mini muffins. He loves those for his lunches. I got four apples, two yellow sweet onions, and then two sweet taters. Some bananas. I only got four this week because anytime I buy more than that, it's like they sit there and they go bad. And then I'm always making banana bread, which isn't a bad thing, but... I just got four this week, so we'll see if they get eaten or not. <laughs> I got some peppers for my sloppy joes that I make. And then as far as non-food goes, um, well, I did get two cases of the 20-ounce bottles of the 24-pack of the Sam's Choice Water. And now is only thing for non-groceries, I got this Kinky Moves hair, um, Curl Define Hair Cream. And I also got the Miracle Curls, the Leave-In Defining Oil. It's got jojoba oil and coconut. So I think that would be really good for my hair. And then I needed some more serum for night time for my face. So I just got this CeraVe um, Skin Renewing Retinol um, Serum. <laughs> and this has... I can't tell what that says. Encapsulated retinol. And so it's got three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. And I love anything CeraVe. It is amazing. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but it lasts. And then I've got this eye makeup remover. So it says comforting. And hopefully it generally gently dissolves. And it's got three essential ceramides in it too. So... It even removes waterproof mascara. <laughs> so that is everything that we got for this week's grocery haul. A little overview. So that's all that we needed. So not too shabby, but now let's go show you what we got for, um, or what we making, what we making, what we're making for supper. Y'all, I cannot talk to save my life. I don't know what is up. But honestly, I think we're just going to be making spaghetti and garlic bread and probably a little side salad. I am craving spaghetti and you can't go wrong with it, y'all. You get the peppers and the onions and the mushrooms. Mm. Do you have to put mushrooms on it if you don't want it? <laughs> so I got some breadcrumbs and some eggs and of course our ground beef to make the meatballs. And then we'll use some of it for the meat sauce. But this is an onion soup mix. And then I've got a beefy onion soup mix, and that goes in with my meat sauce, or my sketty sauce. And I'm just going to use this tomato basil um, classico. I love this stuff. We'll use some tomato paste, some sketty sauce mix, some fresh garlic, a fresh tomato that I'm going to cube up out of my garden, put in there. And yeah, and then we'll just put, you know, our seasonings in there. And these are Italian breadcrumbs, but y'all... Supper's going to be good. You can never go wrong with Skelly. Am, am I right? I love Skelly. Skelly? 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 Who ever heard of Skelly? Skelly and garlic bread. <laughs> I mean, it's a good Sunday supper and it feeds a crowd, let me tell you. So, I'm going to go ahead and chop up this tomato and garlic and stuff and then we're going to get to making these meat de bowls. Thought I'd put y'all at this angle for a minute, but we are getting ready to mix up these meatballs. So I will probably use about a third of this and then another third for the meat sauce and then I'll freeze the other third. Yeah, it's three pounds. So I'll do a pound of meatballs because I make pretty good sized meatballs and then we'll do a pound in the spaghetti sauce itself. And then, like I said, I'll freeze the other pound because it's good to have some ground beef in your freezer. Um, so let me get y'all set up so we can get these, um, meatballs done. Lord of mercy, I can't even think of my words, y'all. I just, words just go poof out of my head and I don't, I don't know, I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and get this ground beef cut. All right, so that is a pound of that ground beef right there. 
else have been over here. I need to check these eggs because these are fresh eggs. So I don't want no surprises in them. <laughs> we'll put two. Okay. We're going to do some buttery garlic and herb, some caramelized onion butter, and of course, all purpose, all three by Kinders. Love their seasonings. I don't think I've had one that I don't like so far. So I'm probably putting, I don't know, about a half a teaspoon in, of each of these in there. And then we need some breadcrumbs. Now I eyeball it, but about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Give or take a few. And these are Italian ones. And now we're going to take our French onion soup mix and dump that right in there. Now that'll be enough for the ground beef. Let me take my rings off so we can get some mix in action going on. I'll just break this up a little bit. I might throw a little bit more ground beef in there actually. I just went ahead and put two pounds in here. So we'll do the other pound in um, the sauce itself because if I if we don't eat all of these, I can just you know put them in the freezer or have them for quick sandwiches like meatball subs or anything like that. So they're not gonna go to waste. <laughs> okay, so we don't want to over mix it. Now I'm gonna go get a paper plate so we can turn these into like little meatballs. But I'm gonna wash these pans. Some hot water going. Finally got the hot water going. I don't know why, cause I gotta stick it back in there, but I had to grab this paper plate. <laughs> so I'm going to grab, I think we'll make smaller meatballs. That way they're kind of bite size-ish. <laughs> You don't want a huge meatball. So probably about a golf ball maybe or smaller, like a ping pong ball. Let's say ping pong ball. <laughs> and we'll get these on there. This will be the longest part of doing the spaghetti. Um, so, but I love homemade meatballs. I just like spaghetti. Anything Italian, I guess that's my bloodline. So. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do all of these and um, bring you back whenever we get done because this is gonna be a boring process, y'all. All right, so I got these ready. So we're gonna go ahead and get a skillet out and get these fried up. I'm just gonna sear them on all the sides. They will finish cooking in the sauce. Now y'all just never mind now, my stove is still dirty because I fried some sausage this morning, so it is not the cleanest right now, but I will clean it after I'm done making supper. It'd be okay. It'd be all right. Now I'm not gonna put anything in the skillet because the, these do have some fat in them, so we're just gonna place these around. And like I said, I'm just gonna, I mean, they'll pretty much be cooked through, but not all the way. I'll get them as done as I can since I'm already making a meat sauce. I'm hoping I can fit all of these in a skillet. <laughs> I'm probably asking for trouble by doing that, but why not, right? I know I can do it. I know I can. Do y'all think I can? <laughs> it's a challenge now. I will squish them little bad boys in here. Usually I put them in the stove. I don't want to have to turn the stove on though. Really don't want to turn the stove on. Ta-da! I got all of them in there. <laughs> okay, so all the seasonings are in there. We'll just put the, the lid on it real quick and let's get over to, once I have these done, we'll make the sauce in this because there's no sense in dirtying up another pan. So we'll go ahead and get the garlic chopped up and the tomato chopped up. Now this tomato might look rough to some, 
but it's perfectly fine. So we're just going to cut those bad spots out of it. But would y'all look at that color? Just look at the color. Oh, so good, y'all. All right, so now we'll just chop this up. Just a rough chop. I got my little my little rata tomato slicer. <laughs> it's easier. If y'all didn't know, you're supposed to cut a tomato with the rigid edge of a knife because it cuts through the skin and your tomatoes don't smush. Now I'm going to leave the skins on this because I will pick them out um, if need be in my sauce. Do not get your fingers caught <laughs> in a serrated blade either because it will mess your fingers up. And I'll probably say that and then that's when I'll chop my finger, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. I mean, they ain't gonna be perfect. I'm just doing a rough chop or dice. Now this is a German queen tomato. So it's first year of me raising these and they taste amazing. Let me know down below if y'all have ever had a German queen. If you liked them, if you didn't like them, I love them. I just, I love tomatoes, so. <laughs> So now that we got that done, let's go back over and turn these meatballs over. Now I told y'all, as y'all follow along down, I need a new tripod. It won't tighten up no more than what it is. Okay. Let me scooch down a little bit. Whee! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, please don't break. Y'all, this is real life of YouTube. <laughs> I knew there would be a lot of grease in there because of the percentage of the beef. So let's just go ahead and flip them anyways. I'm just gonna take a fork and kind of roll them. I'm not stabbing my pan. It's almost like these are gonna be deep fried meatballs. I might have just made up something new, y'all. You never know. I love getting that color on these. Mm. Who here loves spaghetti and meatballs? <laughs> I mean, you can't beat it. I think of uh, the song, you know, anytime we'd have like spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, <laughs> Mama would. <laughs> On top of Old Smokey, all covered with cheese. <laughs> ah, because of the meatballs. All right, I can't be the only one who knows that one, right? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just flip these over. Okay, so now we're going to put that lid back on them and let them cook on the other side. All right, y'all. So these have cooked down. All I'm going to do is just scoop these out and put them into a bowl here. And then we'll get this grease thrown away. I just put it in a bowl with some aluminum foil or tin foil, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> And then I throw it in the trash once it cools down. I never dump this down my sink. That is a bad no-no. <laughs> Look at these beauties. Mm, it's going to be some good eating tonight, y'all. Now that we've got all of that cleaned up, we're just going to go ahead with our pound of ground beef. And get that into the skillet, maybe, sort of. <laughs> and... Let's season it up. I got my little meat masher. <clears throat> and I didn't take none of that flavor out of this skillet. I left it alone because it's just going to add to this. And it's not going to hurt a thing. So we're going to come and add a little bit of Badia Complete. And then the caramelized onion butter and the buttery garlic and herb. That way we can kind of add them in there. Flavor profile wise. Flavor, yeah, right? 
So we're just gonna brown this up like you normally would for Scatty. So the hubby is walking the dogs for me. I'm sure y'all will hear him <laughs> when he brings them back in. That's a definite. I'm still browning this burger meat. Ugh. Watch pot never boils and burger never browns. <laughs> That should be on a shirt too, shouldn't it? Watch pot never boils and beef never browns if it's being watched. It's another hot one out there. We had some like really amazing fall temperatures. It was lovely. Um, some mornings we even got down to like in the 40s, the high 40s. That was a little cheery for me, let me tell you. That cheery wasn't quite ready for that in August. I hope that's not a sign of what's to come for winter because I'm not a winter fan. I'm just not, not. <sighs> then after I get supper made, I got to edit the video for um, the next video, if that makes sense. I'm done with that. Let me get my spoon. Where's my poon? Here comes the hound dogs. I want my red spoon for Skeddy. Oh, God bless you, Mason. Or that might have been Pepper. Can't see him. There's the Mason. You're waiting on a treat, aren't you? You waiting on a treat? Y'all both waiting on a treat? Say hi to the peoples. Do you say hi to the peoples? They're no, they're fixed. <laughs> They're fixed. Sit. Oh, you dropped it, Peppy. You dropped it. They're going to say hi to the babies. Say hi to my friends. They love y'all too. They always ask about you. Hey, Pep. There's no more treat on the floor. Look up. Hey. There's no more treats. I don't have no more. I don't. I don't have no more. <laughs> Oh, I gotta give you another one. I've got to. I gotta give the baby some more. Uh oh, get it. Look here. Look here. <laughs> I was talking that whole time, I wasn't even recording. So, the ground beef is done. I'm gonna go ahead and drain that grease off of it, put it in that bowl right there now. Where'd he go? <coughs> Don't mind my trash I gotta throw away. <coughs> yeah, uh-huh. So anyways, I'm gonna drain this grease off and then we'll get right back to it. So we got our ground beef drained. I've got the water bowl in for the noodles right there. So let's go ahead and get this sauce put together. So I had some frozen onion. <coughs> Pepper's gonna say hi again. So we're gonna add this entire can of tomato paste. And y'all, I couldn't do the trick, you know, where you cut both ends because my can was bent, so it wouldn't work. I was like, man, makes it so much easier when you can just push both ends out and it's there. So we'll give this a good stir. We're gonna put the beefy onion soup mix in here. I know, I know. Y'all are kind of like, that's a lot of onion. But trust me on it. One pack of the spaghetti sauce mix. Now I have used the McCormick kind for the longest time. And then I found the Great Value brand, which is half the price. And it tastes just as good. <laughs> so we're just going to give that a good mix just to make sure all those seasonings are throughout this. Now comes the Scatty sauce. Like I said, I'm using the Classico tomato basil. Entire jar. We will put a little bit of water in this and get the rest of that sauce out. And then goes that. Now that is your sauce. We're gonna throw that garlic and the tomatoes in here in just a minute. I just wanna get this meat um, throughout all the sauce and get it broken up a little bit more. Next up are the tomatoes and that fresh garlic. But if you don't make a mess, are you really cooking? <laughs> 
So we'll just give that a good stir and then we'll put this lid on it and let that cook down for a little bit. That way that garlic gets a chance to um, cook through. But before I do that, I'm gonna add these meatballs back into it without splashing myself with grease. Now we'll give that a good stir. I'll splash that out of the pan again. I figured I'd go ahead and put these meatballs back in here. That way they can meld together with everything else. Sounded good to me. My husband loves meatballs and meat sauce. Anytime we go to a restaurant and he gets like a spaghetti, he always gets the meatballs with the meat sauce. Now we'll just let that lid sit on it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Now I know there's usually like a big old debate about what kind of noodles to use. We either like the thin spaghetti um, or angel hair. My mama was a fanatic over the regular size um, spaghetti noodles, the big thick ones. <sighs> they were so hard, but that's what we had in school and everything. So. I mean, I do. I do prefer the, um, just the thin spaghetti, regular spaghetti or angel hair is my favorite, but let's go ahead and get this in here because that water is a bowling away. It's a hot one in this kitchen. I got the noodles done. I was trying to clean up a little bit, um, but yeah, I've got the noodles finished and I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and show you this sauce. It is bubbling away. I did put just a tad bit of butter. That's what y'all see right there. So we're just gonna give this a good old mix through and try not to spill it over. Oh, I just splashed it. <laughs> Go me, trying to hold the camera and uh, stir at the same time. Apparently I can't do that. I guess it's like um, patting your belly or rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time. I can't do that either. I just ain't coordinated enough, I guess. But I am just going to make some simple garlic toast. I'm just going to use some um, white bread, put some butter on it, and put some probably either vidia complete or just some garlic salt on it, and then put that in the oven and toast that up. And then we're going to be ready to eat supper, y'all. It's calling my name over there. I love it. I love it. It's so good. Well, everything is done. I'm going to pour me some tea. And i got to do those dishes in a little bit. <laughs> but we're getting ready to sit down and have a nice Sunday supper. Mm -hmm.